Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! No point bustling about here. You want to be bludgeoned, huh? Adventure game. He's solving riddles great and small. Adventure game. Adventure games, he loves them all. Every day is a new quest. Exploring north, south, east, and west. Point and click to find the answers that we seek. Adventure game. Hello there, fellow adventurers! I recently found out the two games I previously reviewed, Rhea Face the Unknown and Schism Mysterious Journey, are now available on GOG.com. The question is, are these the CD or DVD versions? Let's find out, shall we? Well, I can confirm that Schism is definitely the DVD version, as it includes the FMV introduction and cutscenes, and the environment is more detailed, including flying fish. Rhea, however, looks pretty much the same to me as the CD version, so my search continues for that elusive golden DVD. Both games were developed by Polish company LK Avalon, which stands for Laboratorium Computero Avalon. Yeah, let's just go with LK Avalon for short. They also made another adventure game called AD2044, which I never played as it's very rare to find a copy. But now that it's on GOG as well, let's check it out. Earth, the only planet where life forms have developed into a high level of civilization. Their inventions were space shuttles, nuclear power, and the war of the sexes. Wait, what? Did I hear that right? Their inventions were space shuttles, nuclear power, and the war of the sexes. I didn't realize that the war of the sexes was one of mankind's greatest inventions. Well, the story goes that the female of the species rebels against male domination, and all hell breaks loose, resulting in the deployment of nuclear missiles which turn Earth into a barren wasteland devoid of life. Whoa, I think this is taking the war of the sexes just a little bit too far. A group of women survive the apocalypse by retreating underground, and are somehow transformed from human beings into fembots. One fateful day they discover a man buried in the Earth who wakes up from hibernation to find himself living in a female-dominated society. Believe it or not, this is actually based on a movie called Sex Mission. <laughs> Starting the game, our first task is to figure out how to get out of this room, which is not entirely straightforward. The only item we start out with is an electronic gola. As all Canadians know, a gola is an ice hockey goalkeeper, so maybe it'll come in useful later when we play some hockey. Okay, just kidding. There's no ice hockey in the game. Or ice for that matter. Let's explore the room and see what's on this table. Do you want to have a hand in soup? My, so I've got to cooperate with such a partner. Okay, I've only been playing the game a few minutes. I'm already befuddled. As far as I understand it, this is like a voice inside our head that guides us and gives us clues. There's no cutlery? What about taking a look under the table? What manners to keep the spoons under the table? Now that we've eaten, we can use the tummy fill-up device, also known as the toilet. Look left up. Look left up? Oh, you mean look in the upper left corner. What's this? A wall table type copier for facial expressions? In other words, a mirror. If you rotate the mirror, you can see your reflection for a brief moment, although it looks like you're female rather than male. So where are all the fembots? Well, first we have to find something to set off the smoke alarm. Here's where we learn the most important rule of AD2044. Examine every nook and cranny of the screen for hotspots. Using this method, items will suddenly appear before you. What's this? A newspaper from 1984, the same year as George Orwell's dystopian vision of the future, where Big Brother is always watching you. Sister, remember of the Amazon Day, work harder to celebrate the fest. Well, I guess in this game, it's more like Big Sister. Now we can set off the alarm and attract the attention of our female jailer, who puts us in our place. That's where you do belong. Ouch! Bashing the hero with a shoe, huh? Let's fight back, not with violence, but with a kiss. 
That's where you do belong. Oh. Ooh. And there's where you do belong. Whoa, talk about falling head over heels. So now we're free at last, but we don't get far before encountering more security. You've got a warm hand. You like this feeling. What the hell was that? A fembot with a huge booty? I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. That's right. Say hello to the Iron Maiden. I'm fed up with women. I mean it. Take her you away from me. You can't pass here with this electronic tracer of yours. To get past this metal beast, we need to get rid of that gola, which I believe is supposed to be jailer, an old British spelling of jailer. There, you've got rid of that boring supervisor at last. That's not the last we see of the fembots, however. It's just like in 1984, you can't escape the thought police. Stop. Back off. Move it to your apt. Move it to our apt? Does she mean go back to our apartment? This game really suffers from things getting lost in translation, and it probably makes more sense in Polish. Stop. Jak śmie mnie oblizywać. We find that this fembot's weakness isn't kisses, but rodents. Huh, you hideous creature, and it does move. She retreats into the toilet, also called the Pee Wee Herman Institute. Yeah, that's what I call my bathroom too. There's also a jail cell in here, but no prisoner to be seen. Only a plate of Miletus and a toilet of Bacalitus. So who are Miletus and Bacalitus, you ask? And why do they have a plate and toilet named after them? I don't know. Time to enter the elevator which contains a mirror. In other words, a wall table type copier for facial expressions. This is not a story of Alice in Wonderland, but it's a serious game. Serious game, huh? Curiouser and curiouser. I could talk about all the curious details in this game, but here are just a few examples. Exhibit A, a stone tablet of a despotic lady presumably molesting a molested man. Exhibit B, a garbage truck that looks smaller when it's further away. Exhibit C, a handleless door that you can never open. Exhibit D, a button, a second button, and something. And finally, Exhibit E, a mahogany desk of which you've seen better ones. What are we, a connoisseur of mahogany desks? Our objective now is to find our way to the surface and maybe find some fellow humans like us. Anyone hiding under this rock? Oh, it's a pet for hugging, the beloved cockroach. Yeah, cockroaches are so huggable, aren't they? Searching this room, we get another cryptic clue as to what to do next. Go to a policewoman. Certainly you'll find there's something for the cloth. What this means is that we have to go back to the police office, scaring the fembot again with our huggable cockroach companion. Huh, you hideous creature, and it does move! And find a knife in the cupboard which we couldn't open before without some serious firepower. This door can be opened only with a bazooka. Now we can rip through the artificial backdrop just like in the Truman Show and step outside. It's a breath of fresh air to finally escape the underground and get back to nature, like these radioactive ferns here. Radioactive? Uh, <coughs> must <coughs> get back <coughs> inside. <sighs> oh, oh, that's better. I can breathe again. <sighs> I was intrigued to explore this villa which stands as a relic of a time before the nuclear holocaust when males and females lived together before the male figure was diminished. What the devil? Well, guess the only way to survive is to fight back against our female oppressors. Stop those tricks. You'd better take up arms like a man. All right then, you asked for it. The final puzzle I solved just by fiddling around with these controls to mix the right amount of chromosomes to create life. Or at least that's what I think I'm doing. Think, my dear, think. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Think once again, it doesn't hurt. Actually, all this thinking is really starting to hurt my brain. Oh, to be the enlightened one. Oh, to be the enlightened one indeed. 
I'm sure the ending will enlighten us on this whole experience. Thank you to everyone who watches this channel and those of you who like, comment or subscribe. I greatly appreciate your feedback and hope to keep making videos that take you on many more adventures. See you next time when I review a game that I'm pretty sure won't have any fembots with big metal booties. Radioactive? Uh.